Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna do a video today. My first, I guess, official performance mod. I'm gonna do a custom exhaust. Um, so we have over here, it's the uh, MagnaFlow one, two, uh, one, two, four, six, nine, uh, which is I think two feet overall. It's, it's a muffler, it's an X pipe, X pipe muffler. Then we have over here, uh, the MagnaFlow oval mufflers, one, two, two, one, nine. Two oval style mufflers that will be near the rear of the car. Uh, and here we have some flanges for gaskets to connect to the downpipes. Just a three inch flange to connect. I'm doing a full three inch exhaust. Um, and then in the box, Put this away one second. And then in the box here, we got my muffler tips, which are fortunately rice because I like some ricey stuff. Um, so there's a three inch inlet, five inch outlet, straight through muffler tips to um, that'll be just barely peeking out the end of the bump, uh, rear bumper to close off the entire system. So, um, I wanted to do three inch for later upgrades. I plan to do a full downpipe. And uh, on this platform, three inch seems to be the best option um, from a performance perspective, perspective. But I didn't like some of the three inch options based on the sound or the price. So I didn't get a prefab one. I decided to go this route this way. I can kind of hopefully take, adjust it as I need it to meet my sound needs. I want to keep it relatively timid, quiet, um, no rasp, low drone. Right now I'm not adding any resonators, but I think this setup here allows me to add some pretty long resonators as needed. It might be either right after I initially put this all together, I might decide to get them, but I know I'll need them once I add the full downpipe. So. Um, simple setup, um, I got both of those mufflers, actually they're listed as used on Amazon, but they're brand new, the reason they list them as used because the boxes were a little beat up. So those were 71 each, and I got the X-Pipe for, I want to say 164 I believe, but Amazon was the best spot, they had them on sale. Got the muffler tips on eBay, you can offer the seller. It will likely accept. It's in Hong Kong, but it came in like six days. So that was pretty good. Got the flanges on eBay as well, I believe. Yeah, I want to say I got the flanges on eBay too. Maybe Amazon. I don't know. Well, they got an Amazon package, so probably Amazon. But yeah, so this is the whole build. I'm going down to Inman Muffler in South Carolina. So I'll uh, put some footage up of that while they're building as much as they let me. Uh, hopefully they'll let me kind of... Show you underneath the car, and then of course I'll do <clears throat> cold starts, warm starts, revs, and all that. So let's get rolling. Right, so the up, they're doing their thing. Uh, so it's going to be a two-part, I guess, because they're saying these mufflers that I picked up uh, not going to fit on the back end. Not enough clearance on the passenger side. It looks like the black, black box right there is not going to allow it to fit in that little hook right here. And it's not going to fit to any kind of angle. So I'll just have to go back and get um, some round mufflers. The x pipe, I said that'll be fine. And the muffler tip, that'll work fine. Um, so at some point I'll decide to have to come back here or go to another shopping and have the basically the two axle mufflers put, put on at some point. Um, so actually when I went back up, what he was also saying too was with the parts that I bought, it should be pretty quiet. And I said, that's the best news you could tell me because I do want it quiet. And he said I picked the right muffler to make it quiet. So the end result should be pretty tame, pretty, uh, obviously it's going to be breathing better with going from that like two and a quarter to a three inch pipe, but it should still sound pretty civil. And again, no rasp, no drone. So. I'm gonna let them do the thing and I'll check back in you with uh, some progress and some updates. 
Got it from the down pipes to the X pipe. Looking good so far. And we'll see what happens next. All right, so a little update is they had some vibrant bottle uh, resonators on hand. And um, these will work for my setup. So they're using these to weld those and weld these onto the exhaust. They already got one side done actually to do on the other side. Uh, so I don't have to do a return trip. So now the setup will be X pipe to those resonators to tips. So a little bit different than the original plan, but I do know that those vibrant resonators are really good. So not not too disappointed that things had to change and I think that'll still be a good outcome. So uh come back once it's time to do those tips because I'm going to be real gonna be real anal about the tips. I don't want them poking out pretty much at all. So I'm going to be all up in their business when it's time to put those exhaust tips on. Ah, Alright, there's the finished product. Very pleased. I haven't gotten on it yet, but just from these low res, man, it sounds good. Looks how I want it tucked in there. Not poking out pretty flush just enough to actually see the tip so I'm happy with that give you a little idle sound here nice and low um, I'm gonna try and give you some warm revs from in well I can do this here let me give you some warm revs just like this you can see uh, let's lean that here hopefully you guys can see the car I can't see it I'm blind so Be for everybody, but I absolutely love it. Nice growl, no rasp at all, like I said. And uh, I'll give you some highway driving now, see if there's any drone. But so far, perfect, perfect mission accomplished so far. So I do got some drone, that's for sure. Um, I have to decide if it's too much or not. No rasp at all. A little bit of drone. The tone is beautiful. No crackling at all, but a little bit of drone. I'll just have to decide what's too much versus not too much. And then after I add down pipes, I'm 99% sure I'll need two more resonators on top of the two I got. But so far, we good. Sounds great, man. It really woke this car up. Right, I'm back home after a about a hundred mile drive from the exhaust shop. I'm about to do a warm start and a couple revs this time in the garage. I'm thinking that'll give you an even better uh, listening experience to hear it. I won't go too crazy. I'm in the garage. I think you should be able to see it from there. And then I'll conclude with the cold start. Obviously tomorrow morning, can't do it now, so that'll go tomorrow.
right. Cold start time. It's the next morning. I'm gonna leave the garage down and then I'm gonna lift it up. Thanks.